my gosh, the messiness of it all. Hello, welcome back to my channel. And I usually do a wig related content, but we're gonna talk about reality TV, specifically Love is Blind. So if you wanna just chit chat about Love is Blind, uh, this isn't gonna be like a full on like detailed recap. There are channels that do that. And I can share with you like my favorite sort of recap channels if you would like, but we're just gonna have a chit chat, talking like friends about what's going on, okay? Oh, okay. So I just finished watching the Love is Blind reunion and I think in my last video, um, I also hadn't seen like who got married and who didn't. So let's just start from like the end couple episodes along with the reunion. So I would say I was actually shocked about some of the people who got married and who didn't and some I were not. So I'll just like go through everybody and just give my like two cents. Brett and Tiffany, I knew that they were gonna work out. I could tell like some of her like being overwhelmed and this and that, like, you know, at the end of the day, this is a TV show, it's for entertainment. And yes, it's like reality, but you know, as a content creator and someone who edits uh, videos to put out into the world, I mean, you can kind of put out what you want to put out. You know, that being said, they can't, you know, a lot of people always like, oh, they twisted what I put in there. Can you like edit things to look a certain way? Yes, but like you can't do anything with editing that isn't filmed. So, you know, there is sort of a double-edged sword to that whole scenario. Do I think they twist things, leave things out, add things in to put forth a certain narrative? Well, sure, it's entertainment and it gets people talking and that's the whole point. So. You know, you have to take a lot of the things that you see or don't see with like a grain of salt. But I would say in terms of like Tiffany and Brett, they were good. They, I feel like, approached this the right way. They had the right conversations. They were realistic. They talked. So I wasn't really worried about them. I thought that they would get married and, you know, they did. Then next it was Kwame and Courtney. That actually, I was surprised about just the way that they edited it they really made it seem like Kwame wasn't a hundred percent in it or you know I, I I could tell that he loved Courtney and I feel like they did, did do her a little dirty they made her seem like this like goo goo eyed like schoolgirl. she appears to be very intelligent um, I think it was reciprocated he did seem to be kind of on the fence here and there and you know that was just really interesting the way that that ended up playing out. I'm glad that they're together. Like, I liked them together. I think that they evened each other out. Again, of just like what we saw. I, but I was. I thought potentially he would say no. I definitely knew she would say yes. But I thought potentially he would say no. Then we had Zach and Bliss. Ugh! Bliss's dress is literally my dream wedding dress. Not that I haven't had wedding dresses in the past, but I was so in love with her dress. The more and more I saw them together, the more they are just really suited for each other. It was unfortunate that he got sidetracked with Irina for a minute, but you know, like skipping ahead to the reunion, he was so eloquent. They were they were really like they definitely seemed solid in a good place. And at the end of the day, you know, you're going in these pods, you're being very intense, and you can have feelings for multiple people, and you don't really know who they are. So that's what the whole like after the pods is for is to figure out if you fell in love with someone and if it was genuine and and then it's like the real stuff because you could be in love I've been in love a few times and it doesn't always mean things can work out I was really I thought that was kind of cool um, they seemed pretty solid I loved their wedding everything about that I mean the dad was a bit extra but I mean dads can be extra so happy for them another shaka was Micah and Paul you know, Micah really came off pretty and secure, but I didn't think that, you know, especially when they, they did that thing where they made the wedding rings, that to me was just like, OMG, like they made their wedding rings and then you're going to say no. Um, but, you know, Paul said he didn't feel like it was the right thing. And let me just say, like Micah's friends, like I get these are your friends, but at the end of the day, like when he said no and she ran off crying, like they were like smiling. Like who does that? 
like I don't even care what you were smiling about there there was just nothing to laugh about during that situation and I don't know there was just a lot about that that just seemed really sketchy and you know no matter what the scenario no matter what was said or wasn't said or thought or wasn't thought it, in my lowest moment if my friends are like laughing they're just not my friends I'm sorry that's just is what it is and that's all I have to say about that uh obviously Marshall and Jackie didn't get married um you know Jackie just didn't even show up to the dress fitting I don't actually blame Jackie for like how she was feeling I just think she really handled a lot of the situations wrong and she should have just she should have said like I'm not going to dress fitting like he's going to his fitting looking all kinds of happy and you know Brett was a cool friend like I'm glad that Tiffany told Brett and Brett told Marshall because that would have been so embarrassing like would she even have told him like I don't know all of that just seemed like super wrong so and there was that I think is that it I think that was it um in terms of the wedding so Tiffany or Micah and Paul Tiffany and Brett Bliss and Zach and then Kwame and Courtney and then Marshall and Jackie but you know so then we watch reunion again there's all these channels that do this so you can watch them but like the whole live reunion thing I was a little bit late to like going to be watching the live reunion and I was already seeing people like posting up stuff saying it's not on it's this and that so that was a whole crap show for real I don't know why I don't know why Netflix decided live reunions just never are a good idea like you know you don't see real housewives or like Vanderbilt rules they don't do live reunions for a reason first of all it's a long time frame second of all there can be just a bunch of stuff that like just lulls that you want to edit out someone who does live like I go on live YouTube twice once or twice a week for several hours and it really does it takes a lot of energy focus like the tech has to be right and, the, and there could be like you know when you film you can edit out lulls or like someone maybe have a wardrobe like there's just so many things you can edit out to make it a better experience for the viewer now by the time I was able to watch it it was the edit edited version as far as the Lachey's I don't mind Nick Lachey I like him I just felt like Vanessa they're too invested to be hosts if that makes sense like for reunions like the reunion is I don't know I just felt like she was messy for no reason her whole vibe was just off for me um, when she did the interview with Jackie and Josh, like, it is what it is. They're together. They've been together for a year. They wanted to be together. Okay, great. She just really made it seem like how it was handled was okay, and it's just not the case. It just wasn't okay the way that they handled everything, and some of the stuff that they said about Marshall, and all, like, like why? All that was just unnecessary. Marshall didn't do anything wrong. If they didn't click, they didn't click. You know, and she was like, well, I just want to make it clear I didn't cheat on Marshall. But, like, you had coffee with this dude, like, the next day. I don't know. It wasn't like you were like, oh, I actually want to be with Josh. Like, I broke up with Marshall. Now I'm thinking about Josh. It's just, like, it isn't, you know, there's a lot of convoluted stuff. And, like, just to be honest about it. I don't know. I didn't really feel great about how okay Vanessa was like she like she challenged a lot of people she challenged Irina a lot she challenged a lot of people I felt like she should have challenged them way way more way 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 more so then they get to some of the other couples I loved you know Kwame and Courtney really clearing things up and Kwame made a good point this is like one percent of everything that people are seeing you know so at the end of the day it's such a little part of their story and they're going to pull out the most controversial plus succinctly telling a story um Courtney and Kwame seem very happy their apartment was sick um so I'm glad for them I'm glad they cleared up some of the challenges that weren't explained and you know she's met his mom and all of that stuff uh, this whole thing is fast in general then to be like part of a show and a reality show like I can see parents being like uh this is weird I'm not down with this but you know they seem to have a real legitimate marriage and they're happy and so that's great Zach and Bliss were like MVPs as far as I was concerned like they just you know Zach was very open and honest and you know some of his lawyer was coming out especially when stuff with Irina I mean 
I feel like Irene has been dragged enough. Like she kind of like, like, yeah, this is the reunion. You're gonna say these things. But you know, her and Micah both, they had like super mean girl vibes. They just did, period, point blank. And so, you know, I think that they were able to see themselves. Trust me, as someone that sees themselves on video, watching it back, you get a clarity. Like there's just times when you're like, yeah, I totally, this is how I acted or reacted. And then you see these things back and it just wasn't the case. So no matter what like the public says, the watching yourself back doing things, especially if you feel like, you know, you, you didn't put your best foot forward, there is a huge lesson and I'm sure that she is seeing things way clearer than she has ever in her entire life. Um, you know, so that's all I have to really say about that. You know, but she said some ignorant stuff and she did some ignorant things and they called her on it. So, you know, probably a really hard day for her. Hopefully she grows and learns and realizes. And then we had Tiffany and Brett just cute, just being cute. They seem really happy. Yeah, overall, I just think that it's time for the Lachey's to move on. And, you know, I think they should be more a part of the show and then not necessarily part of her union. I think that would actually be better. She's just too opinionated to be like running a reunion. She definitely seems like she's maybe more dominant in the relationship, uh, definitely more vocal, which is totally fine. Um, but like, again, with a reunion, you do have to have some level of bias and you have to call everybody out equally for their stuff and all of that, so. But overall, those are my thoughts about Love is Blind. It's, it's over. I am looking forward to the ultimatum that they're having. Uh, I really liked the ultimatum from last year. And so, I mean, it's just messy for no reason. But uh, if you want me to cover that, I will. Still plugging away the Vanderpump rules. If you want me to cover that more, I can. Those are really two the, the two reality shows that I'm watching consistently right now. And yeah, so that was just my little reality talk. And I will see you soon. Bye.